So some of you guys out there might remember a small thing called the Super Duper Graphics Pack that sort of just disappeared and nobody knew exactly what happened. Well today I finally have some new details about the Super Duper Graphics Pack, what went wrong and exactly when we might expect to have the Super Duper Graphics Pack. Now, these are just brand new details. I don't wanna say it's good news. I don't wanna say it's bad news. It's just new information in regards to what's going on with this DLC, the Super Duper Graphics Pack. So if you guys want answers, if you want more details, you came to the right place. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. If you could do me a favor though, leave a like on today's video. It'd be a huge help. It'd be very supportive. And don't forget to hashtag Stealth Army because I will be liking and favoriting some of the best comments in today's video. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump straight into this video by hopping onto Twitter. And we got a lot of new details yesterday when Aubrey Norris was talking about shields coming to Bedrock, which if you guys don't know what's going on with that, I will have a link in the description uh, to the video where I discuss shields coming to Bedrock. But under this tweet are dozens upon dozens of other tweets. Now, Aubrey Norris talked about shields coming, but this led to multiple different discussions about features and other things that people want to see come to Minecraft by like YouTubers and streamers and just people that are in the community. It was a huge discussion and uh, I'll be reading all of these tweets all at once. So hopefully it paints a picture for you guys. Um, so let's get started. Shields and Bedrock though, fam. And then Fusion Droid says, whatever happened to the Super Duper Graphics Pack? I feel like people forget that it was mentioned back in 2017. Now, Aubrey Norris replied saying, the graphics team is totally rebuilding our entire graphics engine. This is going to take a long time. Now, before I continue the rest of the tweets, I wanna sort of focus on this specific tweet really quickly. And this is quite concerning because yes, the Super Duper Graphics Pack was announced over a year ago. This was before Bedrock was officially out. They were talking about the Super Duper Graphics Pack coming out fall of 2017. And for Aubrey to say that it's still going to take a long time is like a big warning sign right here. Like we shouldn't be expecting it this year. It could take a long, long time before we have any more new information or actually have the final product. So yes, this is not a good sign at all, but let's continue. Fusion replies saying, hey, nice. I wish it wasn't mentioned back in 2017 though, cause it was mentioned and I was thinking a release was gonna be soon, but cause it's gonna take a bit of time, it would have been better to maybe hint about it back then. And when it was close to release, then mention the hype would be high. So yeah, guys, I'm reading these tweets directly. So some of it might not make complete sense, but essentially Fusion is like, I wish they would have just maybe hinted at the idea instead of being like, yay, super duper graphics pack coming out this fall, which is exactly what Microsoft did. And then Aubrey replied saying, trust me, we wish it hadn't been mentioned either. Bam, that's a bombshell. Very strong words coming from, you know, Team Minecraft here saying they wish they never mentioned it and probably just gone the route where they just hinted it briefly and then not give too many details. So that's a big deal right there to say we wish we never mentioned the Super Duper Graphics Pack, at least the way they did in that video, in that presentation. And then Fusion Droid said, haha, I bet you get people begging for it on the daily still. Aubrey replied saying, it's weird because we get questions about it, but like nobody has made a massive threat about it on the feedback site. Seems like just a super vocal small group of people. Now, this is where another person comes into the conversation known as the Salty Mora. And uh, this individual says, people have mentioned on the feedback site and the question, where's the super duper graphics pack is already on the fact. It's been like 18 months. Aubrey replied saying, what I'm saying is it's not one of the top voted things. So we are going to prioritize other stuff over it. So this is another tweet that has me slightly concerned only because you would think as a studio, as a developer, you would want to prioritize things that you announced a long time ago first than things you haven't announced yet. But that's just my opinion, but let's continue. The next tweet by uh, Ant Venom, and this is what he had to say. 
That doesn't make much sense though, because it was an announced feature. It's one thing for features Mojang made, no plans for needing to be mentioned on the feedback website, but not something like this. And Aubrey replied saying, well, we still need to determine how to prioritize how fast things get done, and the feedback site is one of the things that help us decide what we work on first. Just because we announced a feature doesn't mean it's on the roadmap to be started on that second. And then Ant Venom replied saying, like I see where you're coming from with announced features or ideas, but the graphics pack had a name release date. Finally, this fall, we'll be releasing a free update. So with that quote on the official Minecraft website to suggest that part two, and then Aubrey Norris replied saying, yeah, and then things didn't work out like we planned. And then Ant Venom replied saying, oh, I don't doubt it. And to even go as far as to cancel or heavily delay it is fine, but to dodge the problem by saying nobody talked about a confirmed feature with a schedule release date on the feedback website is flat out wrong. So I can imagine this is a very fast paced moving conversation on Twitter at the time. So yeah, but those are some pretty strong words by Ant Venom. And uh, Aubrey replied saying, I'm not dodging the problem at all. I'm saying I don't understand why many people haven't voted for it is all. It doesn't match the number of people who ask about it. More me thinking out loud, not putting blame or anything like that. And then Ant Venom replied saying, you're making it sound like it's the player's fault. If the village and pillage update took longer than expected and nobody posted about it on the feedback website, would you be saying the same thing? Seriously, it's the same problem with the same answer. Wow, that is a bombshell right there. It seems like Ant Venom has had enough and is clearly just impatient. And I can understand where he's coming from especially with the super duper graphics pack. I'm at the point now, like either announce when it's gonna come out or just cancel it, right? At least that's how I feel. I think a lot of people are starting to get not only just beyond impatient and just beyond done with it, they're just like, okay, we just need some definitive information about what's going on with this super duper graphics pack. And I feel like Ant Venom is more on the extreme side, like he's just fed up, he's done with it. But uh, here's what Aubrey had to say to that. That is not my intention at all. I am just puzzled why the results don't show up in both places. I have zero ulterior motive or point. And then Ant Venom replied saying, You know me well enough to know that I always mean well. What I'm saying is, if it's necessary to say, Hey, this feature is on hold indefinitely, then it becomes more proper to say, But if you really want it, leave the post on the feedback website so I can yell at my boss for it. And then Aubrey replied saying, it's not on hold indefinitely. I guess Twitter is a bad place to think out loud. And that is basically the end of the discussion here. It's a long discussion and I'm sure the pacing of it was really fast. And I don't want to make it seem like they were arguing back and forth. Like, you know, Twitter's weird, especially when you're just trying to tweet your thoughts. Sometimes it comes off as, I don't know, arrogant or like you don't mean it in a very calm and considerate way. But I'm sure this was very respectful the way they were talking. They know each other. Honestly, it just probably seemed like it was an argument. But at the end of the day, like I think we just all want answers and so far from what Aubrey said, it doesn't look too good. It doesn't look like they've made too much progress um, and I'm really upset about that at least, but I don't really wanna point fingers. I don't wanna say like, Microsoft, you dropped the ball here. You should have done this, you should have done that. I think we just want answers. We need to know exactly when we can expect the super duper graphics pack or just cancel the entire project. I think we're at that point by now, but let me know what your thoughts are, guys. Who do you agree with most, Aubrey Norris or Ant Venom? And do you think they should just release it? Do you think they should cancel it? Do you think they should just work on something else entirely? Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. I really appreciate it. Notification squad, y'all are the goats, and I'll catch you all in the next video. So take care, peace. Get ready for the next battle.